it's it's a world where just anything is possible and uh, just whatever's in your imagination can can happen and so so the, I mean there's a ways of expressing I think it's a healthier way of maybe getting things out you know rather than punching somebody in the face or something you can I can play it on my guitar and it doesn't hurt anybody and it you can say what you need to say and I can see nothing but good comes from music so for me it's just been a been a way I feel like it's it's my like now as I'm struggling to find words to express myself when when I play music I feel like that's where my real voice is or that's where I really say something more than with words I mean words are words are cool too but I'm not that good with them. I think it, it, there's a natural way I have of speaking. I hesitate and I think and I, it takes me a while to get the thoughts formed in my mind and to get them to come out. And the same thing happens when I'm playing music. There's, I'm thinking and there's, I'll hesitate or I'll so there's a natural rhythm that I have that happens when I play. But then also, I mean, you can't just, the, the silence is as important as the, you know, there's dark and light and you can't see one or the other if, you know, they cancel each other out. So, I mean, if there's sound, there has to be no sound to go with it before it'll mean anything, I think, so. I guess I don't really think so much about what it's called, although it's just music or, uh, but I, there was a time when I shied away from calling myself a jazz musician, but, or maybe it was because I don't like to be boxed in somehow, but but these days, I for me, jazz, when I started to find out about jazz music, for me, that, it, that was a place where anything was possible. The people that I listened to, when I started to hear Sonny Rollins and Thelonious Monk and Charlie Parker and there was something that those guys were doing that it seemed to include it was it wasn't exclusive I don't know if I don't think they were thinking about the name you know Duke Ellington or but there was a, something in their music that it wasn't exclusive it included everything that they knew their the, all of their experience and in that way I, I still think of myself as a jazz I mean it's just I, I take what I know or where I've been and just try to make something out of it and and that's what I think jazz to me means so so I don't mind being called a jazz musician I'm not sure the, it's the improvisation and the composition it's all so it's getting more and more it's it's harder to separate the two I mean sometimes I used to say that when I would write like when I write music it's sort of a slowed down version of when I improvise or something. It's, it's like you have more time to be critical or block yourself 
you, you know, you, you're, and when you're improvising, you have to just deal with the moment. And but I'm, I think I'm, the two things are getting closer together. Where when I'm writing music on paper, it's I'm I'm able to maybe not judge it so much in the moment and just let it let it come out and and then at the same time when I'm <laughs> improvising spontaneously I'm I'm getting closer to having it be a maybe the structure of it being more solid or something I don't know um, and I mean even if I play the same same notes or the same song or and with the there's so many things that are happening with the the people that I'm with playing and the the sound of the room and the audience and the temperature and the whatever other noise is going on or what happened that day or there's no way you can play the same thing twice even if you trying to I mean I'm trying to actually not play it the same way twice I guess but um, so I mean in that way even playing a, a a set piece for me it doesn't feel that much different than something that's improvised It used to be seem like it would be easier for me to do it when I was traveling or anywhere. I would just write stuff down, and uh, but now I, I, I need more solitary, concentrated time, um, and I'll I'll write a lot. Like I actually had a little bit of time off recently where I just wrote music every day without, I didn't have any deadline or it wasn't for any reason other than just doing it. And then I was able to get into a real rhythm of, it, it's it's almost like a, I don't know what, I, it seems, for me it works best if I don't judge what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Or Every time I start to think about what it actually is, then I become too critical and it just stops the process. So I have to just, it's like just, I sort of get into a, the energy of it and the stuff just comes out and pages and pages of this stuff. I filled up a few notebooks with music over a few weeks recently and then the process, then I go back and I start looking at it more critically and sometimes there's fully formed things there or there's just germs of things that can become something bigger and then I'll bring it I've been so lucky with I'm just so fortunate with the people that I play with over the last I don't know well, since I started trying to do my own music, I've been, I feel really lucky that I've been around people that have backed me up or <laughs> encouraged me. And so much of what I write, it almost doesn't feel, it, it, so much of it comes from the people I'm with when I bring them a melody and they put, stuff into it that I could never, you can't really write it down. And um, So with the different groups I have, I usually present them with some kind of structure, like uh, just maybe it's just one melody or maybe it's a more fully formed four part thing or something. but there's a point where I just kind of leave it up to them to do with it what they want. And that's really exciting for me. Cause it, it's not like just writing music and 
bringing it to a, some anonymous people and just having them play exactly what's there. It's, there's more going on than that. When I started listening to Miles Davis playing the trumpet or, or Bill Evans playing the piano, like I'd hear the piano and I think, oh, he's, you know, they can play notes in one hand and the notes just ring out and then they can play other notes. And so that led me to get a delay pedal where I could play something and then the notes would keep going and then I could play some other stuff. I mean, it, that came from really from thinking about piano and, or, or even a, distortion. I remember hearing, I was hearing like Miles Davis playing a trumpet and then I heard Carlos Santana playing the guitar and he had this really, you know, he was pushing the amp way past what was the normal or what was, you know, he was really getting this distorted, long, or Jimi Hendrix did that. Uh, but I started to hear, wait a minute, that sounds kind of like a trumpet. And so then I got a distortion thing. I said, so I mean, it kind of came almost more from trying to mimic these other instruments than, although I did, you know, of course I listened to Jimi Hendrix and I listened to Santana too, but a lot of that stuff, it, it, it's just something I'm trying to r realize that I'm hearing in my head.